Howdy folks. Here's today's soap. It's a Crown King. Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. This soap was made for Shave It World. The name of it is Han Polo. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's relatively hard. Once you scrape it out and put it in a bowl, though, it's pretty soft. It definitely gives you that impression that it's going to be a creamy soap, just by the way it feels. And uh, that's what got a side label there also. For those that like that sort of thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll be following up with the uh, aftershave. Got Humphrey's Witch Hazel Lilac. And got my trusty alum lock with the rubber band. And the shaver of the day, I'm going to show you the box here. It is uh, from Supply. And this particular one is um, the limited edition. It's polished. Uh, when this first came out, I was very tempted to get one. And I decided to wait. And I'm, I guess you might say I'm glad I did wait because then they came out with the polished version. And I like the polished version. As opposed to one with the matte finish. And then, not too terribly long ago, they talk about one with that's black with like a matte finish. And then there's a black one with, a, uh, I guess you might say, shiny black. Or some people might refer to it as black chrome. It does come uh, complete with instructions. And one of the things that it does mention in here, it talks about the angle, how you place the head, and then how you adjust it to, yeah, 5 to 10 degrees against your face, just depending on what, you know, what your preference is. The one I got comes with three plates, a sensitive plate, classic plate, and then an aggressive plate. And today I'm going to be using the classic plate. And how you can tell the difference in the plates is, plates are in these little boxes here, there are dots at the bottom of it. So when you first put your plate, first put your plate on, that's how you'll know that you're, uh, what you're getting there, like this one here. It has three dots right there. That means this is the aggressive plate. I have a shade with all three of these. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got great shades with all three. So it's just really depending on your preference. Um, I liked all three. Uh, the uh, sensitive plate was probably the uh, the mildest plate, but still uh, got a close enough shave where I was quite alright going to work with that kind of sh In other words, very acceptable. Uh, the way I view it, this is a very nice shaver. Any of those plates, I, I was able to get a smooth, comfortable shave without putting out a whole lot of effort. It was a pretty easy going shave. I've already put the <clears throat> hot towel to the face, some bloom water, and this is what it looks like. Like I said, this is limited edition, the shiny one. I had it over here warming up in a warm mug of water, and the, uh, yeah, you can see right there, that knob right there. On the back side of it there's a spring so when you take that knob out uh, you want to make sure that if you're working around your sink that it's uh, got a stopper in it because uh, with that spring being there it's got a little bit of a spring to it <laughs> don't want to drop it down the sink yeah, that would not be a good thing got the lather whipped up here still working with the uh, zabachi bowl and the brush that uh, Whipped up the lather this morning is a Envy Shave Brush. And once again, this brush is, uh, was made for Shave at World. You can kind of see some of the artwork there. And all these uh, brushes uh, were made by uh, Nathan Clark. Really nice brush. Let's go ahead and wet the face and get started here. This is the uh, beginning. Of September so September being uh, SE single edge 
So normally throughout the week I shave with a shave head. But today is the first day of September, so I'm shaving with a single edge razor. Not that a shave head's not. But I'm going to be shaving with the Artist Club on, uh, which is tomorrow, Saturday, for me. Depending on when you watch it. <laughs> but anyway, it's the next video following this one. So, in order to, I guess you might say, uh, instead of only doing two or three videos a week, uh, I'll be doing videos, if everything goes as planned, of course, Wednesdays, Friday, Saturdays, and Sunday. <clears throat> and Wednesday, those shaves will be with a single edge, like a gem type razor. And then on Friday will be a video. This is very creamy, by the way. Um, Friday is going to be along the lines of, a, of an injector. Saturday is going to be the uh, Shavette. And then on Sunday will be the DE shavers. Figured this would be about the only way that you can, how you say, truly benefit from um, seeing all the. Uh, and we won't see all of them, but at least a, a portion of the uh, single edge razors that are out there in the wild to be had. And this is just a, what I have. There's much more out there. All right, this is. Yep, yeah, right about there. Kind of hoping this is um, this will be my first time doing it like this this month, and then uh, in December, DE. So that month will be with uh, DE shavers. That'll be what's mainly featured. And I'm uh, never done that before, so this will be an interesting thing for me. I've already got it kind of somewhat planned out, if you will, as it goes for, uh, for instance, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on uh, Fridays, the, uh, I'm going to start out with, uh, following this Friday, that is, because there will be five Fridays in the month of September, I was going to say December, um, there's five Fridays. So this one being the first one, but the next two after this is going to be uh, adjustable injectors. One of them, of course, is going to be a Schick adjustable dial. It's got a dial on it, and the other one is going to be a PAL adjustable injector. Over the years, um, Schick and Pal, they made some injectors, and uh, of course there's many Schick injectors out there. I have uh, some injectors that look very close to being the same, but there's a slight difference. And that's probably more along the lines of, um, at least in my opinion, looking at them. It's just nothing more like the handle length or something of the sort. Not so much uh, that the head is uh, shaving much different. I'd have to do almost a side-by-side -side because uh, what is being referred to is the E-type and G-type. And I think I read where it is believed that uh, I think it was the G type that's supposed to be more aggressive. I couldn't tell, to be honest with you. At least not not the best of my memory to have to shave with one one day, and the next one the next day, and maybe I could really tell the difference. I get good shaves with them. There are 
are some models that I'd like to get a hold of that I haven't tried yet. And one of them is going to be the F type. And the other one is, what is it, A or B? The One of the early models. I guess you might call it a travel model, how it folds up and ends up looking like it's just a tube. Be kind of cool to try one of those. So in other words, I don't have one with that looks like a ticket tennis racket handle or one that looks like a, a handle from a knife or a fork. Don't have any of those. Don't have a twin injector either. So if you was looking forward to seeing one of those, well, when I get one, I'll do a video on it. I don't know if you can tell or not, but this is Yeah, this is very smooth. When I first got this, I shaved with it for I think it was like five days straight. And uh, all three plates. Very nice shaving. One of the things I plan on doing is I'm going to attempt off camera then when I feel like I get closer to being able to do it I'll probably do it on camera is the uh, uh, Don from wet to face he uh, more or less does a uh, one lather shave and I like to see if I can uh, not necessarily master it but get to the point where it's uh, very comfortable and easy to use I like to see how that works for me I have a sneaky suspicion that it's going to work just fine it's just a matter of me getting used to it because when he shaves you can tell that he knows his face in what directions he needs to go in order to catch uh, all the different directions that he need to be shaving in. And if you can learn to do one of those, that cuts your time down in the mornings pretty quick. You won't be able to do that with necessarily with a shavette, I don't think, but with uh, a DE or, or single edge razor like an injector or a gym, very well possible that I could uh, decrease the amount of time that I'm shaving in the mornings before I go to work. And if you've already guessed it, yes, this uh, scent is uh, after uh, Polo. And uh, it's, it's pretty nice. Sometimes it's hard to see on the video, but in my opinion, just by looking at the lather, it does look awfully creamy. It goes on creamy, very smooth. Like I said, this is very easy to shave with, at least it is for me. It might have uh, maybe reason, one of the reasons why it's easy for me to find the angle with some of these razors is I'm accustomed to shaving with a, a shavette and you got to find the angle. Yeah, it'll be interesting. One lather shave. Catch all of it going in different directions. It'll be fun.
some mornings, especially right before work, it's uh, maybe run a little bit late, still need to get your shave on. And if you can master a one lather shave, It might be a skill that would be handy to have. Let's see if I got this one spot. Got a spot over here. It is not the easiest because it grows in every, every which direction. You can kind of hear it sometimes, and I can tell by the different pitch whether I'm getting most of it or not. I can tell you this much, <clears throat> I don't think Alan Block's going to have much to say this morning. I really don't. Even when I was using, <clears throat> excuse me, using the injector for the first time, this one here, Supply. Oh, I should mention also the, uh, I'm using the blades that came with it. When it comes to injector blades, for me sometimes it's kind of hard to tell the, the blades very well could be from somebody else. For instance, uh, you know one maker for injector blades is Schick. And depending on how old your blades are, in other words, uh, there's been a change over the years. So, at one point in time, everybody used to own Schick, and then uh, now the blades are coming out of uh, China. So, it kind of depends. How old the stock is that you happen to buy yours from, where it may be coming from. And uh, <clears throat> I would have to say on the uh, Schick version, it doesn't happen very often, but I'll notice that the grind you know, it's visible. In other words, it's it's not necessarily during the shave or after the shave. It's uh, before I even get started. I had noticed that I got a blade where the grind you could tell it was not even across there and then persona makes uh, injector blades and then you can get some blades from Ted Pella now the dispensers in between Ted Pella and persona they look an awful lot alike. Matter of fact, you know, you pretty much say they're they're identical. Now the dispenser might be identical, but who made the blades could be different. Couldn't tell you to be honest with you, with absolute certainty. But anyhow, yeah, your your selection of uh, of injector blades are seriously limited, which hazel. If there is a drawback that a person really may want to consider, is uh, there's not very many name brands that are making injector blades. And I know Persona, for the most part, besides uh, making them for shavers like us, is that they're, they're making blades that uh, medical machines actually use these injector blades. So you can kind of understand why they're still on the market in that aspect, is that the medical field are using them. Which is not a bad thing. The um, it keeps the the blades readily available for you. Same thing with the single edge. Medical field uses them also. I'll show you the restrictor here in just a moment. Going to be smelling good today while I'm painting my daughter's room. <laughs> I took the day off to work so I could uh, 
get her room painted. Got most of the stuff moved out last night. The guys at work gave me a hard time. Took off work to paint. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I think you should be able to see what that restrictor looks like. It uh, it may come across as being real big, but uh, I wouldn't say it's a, a big hole by any means. A big opening, large opening. Yeah, pretty much like I had figured. I get great shaves with an injector. No stinging. Face feels great. Post shave feels pretty good. Once again, this is the Crown King formulation from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Shave It World Han Polo. Followed up with the aftershave you just seen, as well as uh, Nathan Clark's from MV Shave. This aluminum handle has still got some weight to it. I think the knot size on this one here, which is a, uh, uh, it's got white tips with black bristles. If I remember right, I think it's a 25 millimeter. Had a great shave. Like I say, there's going to be more videos than normal floating out with uh, various shavers. Everybody stay safe and smooth shaves to you.